Good morning, evening, night, whenever you watch this, if you watch this, I hope your day is, will be, has been good. If it hasn't, you can change the way you think about it. There's a book in my audiobook playlist called Man's Search for Meaning. It was written by a man who was in the concentration camps and he lost his wife while in the concentration camps and all that he endured and went on to become a psychologist. And he wrote about how it was that he reset his perception and mentality to endure inconceivable and unendurable circumstances. If you are in a situation so extreme as this, as many of us are not and we never will experience incarceration. Concentration camps, situations beyond comprehension that are negative and are beyond one's control. But this can be applied to your everyday life because if it is capable, able and possible for a man or a woman in such inconceivable and incredibly difficult circumstances to find happiness, contentment, peace within the worst cases imaginable we can find that in our own day-to-day -day existence. Sometimes life offers us things that are not pleasant to endure, circumstances beyond our control, family difficulties, interrelational turmoil, stress with our boss, with our job, stress in general, physical ailments, bad diagnoses physically that may be permanent, situations that truly unarguably are difficult, awful, terrible scenarios, financial distress, not just a little over budget. I'm talking about living hand to mouth. Sometimes life is extremely difficult and the situations are not of your doing. They're not your fault. And sometimes they're out of your control to change them. You just have to be in it until you're not in it. Like this poor man and many, many others who endured the concentration camp. And yet he found ways to cope. There was a man who was imprisoned falsely for his religious beliefs for many, many, many years. Yet he was able to endure that situation as well through choice of how he perceived the situation and the fact that he could still control and choose his own thoughts and emotions and perceptions. 
even if life strips away from you all power, all freedom, no one can take away your ability to choose your perceptions and interpretations, your beliefs, your emotional reactions. Those are yours. When everything else is out of control and you feel as though your emotions, your reactions, your beliefs, your perceptions are also out of control because of in reaction to the situation that is surrounding you. It's not true. Yes, we automatically have a brief automatic reaction to situations, circumstances, scenarios cause a physiologic, guttural, instantaneous, momentary reaction. And we have certain presets based on our historical buildup to what our perception is to see things in a certain way. But emotion, perception, and belief systems come from inside of you, not from outside. So no outside situation can make you feel a certain way unless you allow it to. So the contrary is actually true. You have control. It feels like you don't, <laughs> but they come from in here. They don't come from out there. The sun coming up and coming down, someone tapping you on the shoulder, spilt milk, or a concentration camp can't make you feel, believe, think, perceive. any way that you do not choose to perceive, believe, and emote about it. Those initial emotions are automatic and autonomic. It's the secondary thoughts that we think on top of the instantaneous thoughts and emotions. The secondary emotions that we feel on top of the instantaneous emotions. The secondary perceptions when we question or do not question automatically react rather than interpret and decide that makes us feel powerless over our emotions. When everything else is stripped from you or you feel as everything else is out of control and there's chaos everywhere no matter what circumstance you find yourself in, even something as awful as wrongful imprisonment and a concentration camp or something simple, like everyday, day-to-day -day things. The car breaks down right when you've got to go to work and take the kids to school, and they don't want to get out of bed, and they're fighting, and it's just stressful, and you're about to lose your cool. And you feel like the situation is making you unhappy, making you off balance. Yes, it's stressful. Yes, there is outside circumstances and they will cause an automatic reaction. But when all else is stripped away from you, all else is crazy drama and chaos. The one thing no one can ever and nothing can ever steal from your control is your thinking, your believing, your perceptions your emotions, your internal response to the situation. By choosing to see and perceive and believe differently in a bad situation, 
you can endure anything. The human spirit is hard to kill. And no matter what anyone takes away from you in this life, they can never take that away from you. It is your prized possession. It is the one thing you always have control over. I highly suggest you look into that book. It's a little heavy reading, but uh, it's pretty powerful. Um, Man's Search for Meaning. In my audiobook selection, you can read it or listen to it for free. But um, if you can't change a situation, a circumstance, a time of your life, you can always change your attitude. We feel controlled by our emotions, controlled by our perceptions, our attitudes. We feel like they are leading us along. We're a living reaction and response to our own emotional pendulums that swing wildly all over the place in reaction to outside circumstances. But in all actuality, you can develop the skills to step outside and observe yourself and observe your emotions and choose those secondary perceptions and beliefs and emotions about your emotions to be more beneficial to you in order to cope with the negative situations in your life better. There was another woman who was in the concentration camp and she told a story of having her family murdered in the concentration camp and she had to dance for someone who was referred to as the determiner of death. She was pulled out and made to dance for them. And she said in her head, she was never dancing in a concentration camp for the determiner of death. She was on Broadway, giving great performance to a huge crowd. And that's how she choose, chose to conceptualize that experience. And it likely saved her life because it freed her of the nervousness and allowed her to be free. If you are not free in your situation or you're in a difficult situation, you can't change everything. You can't have control over everything there's one thing that can never be taken from you and that you can always have control over and you can always change. And that is your attitude about the situation to eliminate your suffering and increase your endurance. So when life gets crazy, don't go with it. When life gets negative, don't go with it. When life gets stressful, don't go with it. Remember that no one makes your emotions, perceptions, and beliefs, and internal reactions to your immediate physiologic responses, but you. It comes from in here regardless of what's happening out here, if you reframe it to a better, more healthful, more helpful story and narrative, you will cope much better, feel much better, and not add undue, unnecessary stress, pain, and suffering to already painful situations. If you can't change your fate, change your attitude. If you can't change your fate, 
change your attitude. This has been proven to be true by people who have endured some of the worst, most unimaginable situations in life and coped well, came out solid, sane, happy, fulfilled individuals. The things we endure on a day-to-day -day basis don't reach these heights. Sure, we've experienced some things over the course of our life that have been monumentally uh, debilitating, insufferable, and extreme. But those are few and far between, and you've survived those too. And even in retrospect, you can reframe your narrative, perceptions, and beliefs so that you suffer less. This is what happens when parents forgive the killer of their child. It's not a gift to them, to the one who took their child away. It's a gift to themselves. It's reframing the narrative so that they don't suffer with their anger, resentment, pain on top of their pain and their loss and their grief. They don't allow the individual to continue to hurt them by reframing what they think. No one can ever, it is the one possession, the one power that no one can ever steal from you. It is your superpower. Your choice of how you believe, perceive, think, and emote in your life. So when you're in a time even an everyday simple time when it just is all madness around you and you want to go mad with it. Step back, breathe, pause, take a moment to regroup and remember if they can do it, you can do it. In the best of times and the worst of times, if you can't control your fate, you can change your attitude. And we're done. Good morning. Goodbye. Love you guys. Deuces. Peace. Karate chop. Bye.